um, I'm going to refer to Romans um, in chapter 12. And the apostle says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay. So with our bodies come all of our senses. And so as we, um, as we become disciplined in submitting our body, um, our, everything about us becomes more in tune with the Lord, more in tune with his spirit. So uh, my ears, my, my hearing, my taste buds, uh, my sense of smell, um, touch, everything becomes more sensitive uh, to the voice of the Lord. And I think the more that you um, remain submitted and disciplined, the stronger you will become because it's just like a muscle. Uh, the more we spiritually exercise our gifts, the stronger we become. The more we turn off the TV, the more stronger becomes our hearing, or the more stronger be, or the more clearer even becomes our mind um, to focus in again on the Lord. Um, the less foods that we eat, so like fasting, um, it causes our body to become more disciplined, more sensitive to uh, the voice of the Lord, to the will of God, whatever he's trying to show or do. It is a, a daily process. It's a daily process that we must endure um, if we plan to hear the voice of the Lord, if we plan to operate in his will, uh, we have to become very sensitive to what he is doing uh, in our lives and in the earth realm. And so, um, you know, if a person wants to become more in tune with the will of the Lord, if they want to do the will of the Lord, if they want to find out even what the will of the Lord is for their life. Again, I go back to that um, being still, and that's even a discipline, that's a, that's a practice, it's an exercise um, that we must do to, uh, to fulfill that purpose and that agenda.